Seven of Pentacles, no longer looking back on failures or no longer considering them. You know, let the past pass with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. If it's in the upright, it's someone who's contemplating on things that didn't work out. Now that it's reversed, it's like, ah, let's let it go, possibly. But I don't know that for sure. i got to put out the full Celtic cross. Current environment, you put a stop to something that wasn't working out. You felt it was too slow with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. You also, some of you can be dealing like us with another Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. But it's like, I think you're putting a stop to something that just kind of didn't work. It's crossing it. It could be a partnership, lovers, um, even family. But the lovers is somebody that you have an emotional bond with. So you may have put a stop to something that you thought was not working. Or somebody put a stop to something. Or maybe it could be that something is just going just way too slow. Or maybe you're not ready. I will be clarifying these. <clears throat> and once I clarify them, it may change the whole story. So bear with me. But you got the Two of Cups in reverse as the goal. I don't think you're looking for a partnership with somebody. Maybe you put something a stop to something. Because that's the Two of Cups. That's sort of like the lovers in a way. It's like partnerships. It's like you're reconsidering going forward with this um, coupling, this this partnership, like I said. Yeah. Foundation, you got the Two of Pentacles in reverse. You were definitely dropping something that wasn't working out. The reason why in the past is because you didn't get wish fulfillment with this uh, partnership. In the near future, you're going to be going out and celebrating and having fun and hanging out with friends, family, or whatever. It's a great card. It's the Three of Cups in, in the upright. And it's, you know, it's it's going out. It's celebrating. It's breaking bread. It's hanging out with friends, like I said, and family. Possible future outcome or the advice from the universe. We got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. It could be that the universe is telling you to turn your situation around. It also could be that um, you feel like you didn't get everything you wanted out of this partnership. But I got to clarify, like I said, outside of situations that are coming towards you or what is basically causing some of this is the page of rods. The page of rods can be a message that you didn't like that came across very rough, gruff and a little, you know, hateful. But the page of rods in reverse can also be a person. It could be a fire sign. It could be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Not, not, not necessarily in that order. But like I said, it could be just the energy of someone taking on this um, type of sign. They could have it in their chart. Hopes and fears. You're afraid someone's going to stab you in the back, betray you. Final outcome. I don't see you offering something to a partner. Or a former partner. I think you're going to move on to even better things. But like I said, I got to clarify it. I'll change up the story. It always does. Then I get too ahead of myself, you know. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Lovers. Why are you there? For, for Taurus, May. What is going on for May? Lovers again. Yes, this is very important. Come up twice. Both of them are major arcanas. Okay, the lovers. So <clears throat> something may have come to a halt with a lover or a past partnership, like I said. Let's find out if we can find out more. I just know it's very important. Knight of Pentacles, the lovers twice. Why are you there for Taurus? Yeah, you don't you don't like the battlement. Apparently, maybe there's too many arguments as the five of wands in reverse. That's more like uh disagreements, um competition, arguments, strife. But it's basically in reverse. So you're not wanting to argue with a lover situation anymore. Or they're not wanting to argue with you. Or maybe you're not wanting to argue with each other. Now the goal is again the Two of Cups. You're not willing to fulfill this right now. I do not see the Death card as of yet. Usually when I see the Death card right away. As someone definitely put an end to something usually. But I don't see that here. I see arguments and someone saying I'm putting a stop to this. It's not what I want. Now the Two of Cups in reverse is his goal. Why are you there for Taurus? High Priestess, trying to listen to your intuition more with the High Priestess. 
um, trying to figure things out that maybe before you couldn't um, come to terms with. Two of Cups, the High Priestess, why are you there as the goal for Taurus? Queen of Pentacles, that could be you. Could be another Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, but you're just not happy with the situation. You feel like it's got you turned around and that you cannot function the way you want to. You don't have your independence the way you want it. You don't have all the wishes the way you want it in life. So as a foundation with the Two of Pentacles, a lot of Pentacles energy here. This is definitely your energy. You drop something or you feel like you need to because you cannot keep on carrying on with this load. It's a heavy load with the Two of Pentacles. It's someone who has to keep on <clears throat> carrying two different things. Could be of the same subject, but they're, they got to do two different things. Maybe two jobs, two people, um, two life situations that are very similar. And, you, and you're juggling, you're juggling, and there's so long you can juggle before you drop one. If that makes sense. So a foundation, you dropped one. You have to, or you're feeling like you need to. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Why are you there for Taurus as the foundation? Yeah, you may have told somebody I'm going to drop something, or someone may have said something to you with the Eight of Wands and the Uprights, messages coming in and going out. Two of Pentacles in reverse, Eight of Wands in the upright. Why are you there as a foundation for Taurus? Yeah, you're making a decision on what you're wanting in life with the Two of Wands. You're, you're definitely going to make a decision to drop something and go with the better in your life. Or maybe, you know, even your partner's doing this also. Because wish fulfillment was not there in the past with the Nine of Cups in reverse. Nine of Cups in reverse. Why are you there for Taurus? Broken contracts with the Hierophant in reverse. Broken relationships too. Or maybe someone didn't come through with their relationship promises. Maybe you were wanting more <clears throat> or somebody else was wanting more. Nine of Cups, the Hierophant, both in reverse in the past. Why are you there? Yeah, you did not have a happy home situation or a happy environment. That's wanting to come out. Again, could be with a um, page of wands or rods. Remember, that was over here. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or like I said, someone with passionate messages or a passionate person. Or even a younger type person. Someone more youthful. Doesn't have to be younger. It could be just someone who is very youthful. Sometimes a little immature also. <clears throat> That's what is related to that card or attached to it. Now, in the near future, let's move this over so everybody can see it. We got the Three of Cups, and it's a great card. Three of Cups is about celebrating with our family, our friends, and enjoying ourselves. Three of Cups in the near future. Why are you there? Looks like you may be. Yeah, you're going to block situations out of your life that you feel like you can't handle right now. And you may go out and decide to enjoy, uh, like I said, yourself with, with people that, that you have an emotional bond with that is uplifting. And you may block other things out with the Two of Swords and decide you're not going to see it no more. Three of Cups, Two of Swords, why are you there in the near future for Taurus? Taurus needs a break, it looks like. Yeah, because you're trying to regain balance. You need to get out. That's what it's saying. Get out, enjoy yourself, because that's what you're going to be doing in the near future, or should be, okay? If you can see all this, I'm trying to get it all on the screen. Now, the possible future outcome or the vice from the universe is the Wheel of Fortune. It is in reverse. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Why are you there for Taurus? Why is it there? You notice when you get asked clarifying cards, you're literally asking another question. Could have to do with the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, or somebody um, with a very uh, cutting words. It, so it could be that the universe is saying there is no fortune to be had or nothing good to be had with sharp words. Whether, you know, like I said, you could be doing this to the King or the Knight of Swords and turning them around, or they could be doing this to you. But it's more or less saying, watch your words. It's not, nothing good is going to come from it. So, uh, Wheel of Fortune, Knight of Swords, both in reverse. Why are you there for Taurus? Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in the upright. 
So I'm seeing, I'm more or less seeing it saying, watch your words and keep your cool. You know, uh, keep your pride in this situation because if, if words get abrupt or you start arguing over things that don't matter, which I don't see you wanting to do or don't matter in your, in the future long run, it's just not going to bring anything good is what I'm, I said before. And that's what I'm going to stick by that. And what is coming towards you, you may have abrupt words still coming towards you. Someone may pop off a little. And you're saying, like I said, I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm going to block this situation. You may block somebody. So the page of rods in reverse, why are you coming towards or the outside environment for Taurus? Yeah, someone's not going to hold back. They're going to let you know what they're thinking. Or they're going to try to, but I don't know if they'll succeed with the, you, you having your swords up. So, uh, Page of Rods, four, four of Pentacles, both in reverse. Why are you there for Taurus? Yeah, you're not even going to think about this burden anymore or whatever you're going to have to work on. You're just not going to do it. That's the uh, Nine of Wands in reverse. Right before you about ready to carry a, a, a burden when it's in the upright, you think about it. But it's in reverse. So I'm thinking someone's just not thinking clearly and they may pop off over something they thought they were going to carry on with you or you, you were going to carry on with them. And they're not holding back and are saying to you, what's going on? And, and they want to talk some more. But you had already had arguments and discussions about broken contracts and broken promises and someone decided to drop something and I see you going out and just putting your swords up and saying mm, I need I need to take a break and regain my balance and just get the things I need um, out of out of my head to where I, I'm not suffering anymore I'm not worried anymore I'm not having anxieties because in your hopes and fears you got the ten of swords you're afraid of betrayals and someone stabbing you in the back Apparently must have happened or you must have felt this way before or wouldn't be there. So Ten of Swords in the upright. Why are you there as the hopes and fears for Taurus? Yeah, you know, you want to come out of disappointment. I just, I just see that Taurus doesn't want to stress out right now. And someone may actually try to offer you something, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So Ten of Swords in the upright. Five of Cups in reverse. Why are you there for Taurus? As to hopes and fears, yeah, arguments. You're not wanting to fight. You're not wanting to battle. You're you're wanting to come out of disappointment, and you definitely don't want somebody stabbing you back and betraying you. So I think someone's going to offer you something, but you're going to go out with people you think are more on your side, or you know your peeps, or whatever you want to call them, or you know whatever. And you're going to put up your swords, and you're going to say, "I need to get away, take a break, and hang out with people." that I feel secure and emotionally sound with. But I think somebody may make you an offer in some way. Or the way they come across is not exactly the way you want it. It's kind of harsh. And you may think, I can't take this right now. I need to get away from this for a little while. Because in the end, you get the Ace of Rods in reverse. This is somebody not wanting to take on a new beginning right now with whatever's going on because you're needing a break and ain't hanging out and you want to hang out and have fun with your family and friends. Like I said, Ace of Rods in reverse as the outcome. What's attached to that? What's going on? King of Wands could have to do with the Aries Leo Sagittarius. I'm thinking, okay, let me, let me get another card before I tell you what I'm thinking. Ace of Rods in the reverse, King of Wands in the upright. Why are you there for Taurus? Yeah, you're not happy with any offers right now that um, you don't think are going to serve you. You don't trust people right now. Uh, you need, a, like I said, a break because you think if you accept anything from anybody else right now, the way things are going for you, you'll just get stabbed in the back again. There's just nothing but arguments. And you need to release these anxieties before you even start anything new. And you may not accept an offer that somebody's going to present to you. I do see more than just um, two people here that you're dealing with. I'm seeing someone you're having harsh arguments with and another person coming in wanting to... 
um, possibly make you a new uh, lover's type uh, offer. Because remember, we had the lover's card upright uh, twice, but I don't know if you're going to accept them. I'm thinking you're blocking people out right now that because of anxieties in the past, you need to overcome the situation. You need to recover from it. And here you go. Yep, six of swords. In the upright, this is someone needing to move on from troubled waters, and they will. But they got to get over to the river, you know, the river of troubles first. And that's what they're aiming for. And then on the other side, it will be much better. But as they're leaving, they remember the, the swords energy, the anxieties, the hurts. And so they're moving on from that. And I think that a lot of you may not accept any new offers right now. It's not that you're not getting them because you will. It's just you don't think they're good for you. You don't need it right now. Yeah, you just can't. Some of you, whoever I'm reading this for, just can't deal with the situation. They need to break with friends, families, and those who give them emotional support. I see you're going to possibly, like I said, block other people that, that aren't helping you. You're going to drop something. And you're going to go on with the things that you love and like. For right now, you need, you need the break. You do. So for May... You do get new offers. I do see offers coming, but I see you choosing to enjoy yourself first before you even accept anything else.